Shane, right after three to one preseason win. Shane, your line was buzzing pretty good tonight. What did, uh, what did you see out there with those guys? Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, fun night for us. You no, know, we think we just, you know, just competed, just won our battles, and uh, you know, try to play in the old zone as much as possible. And um, yeah, I think that was kind of our, our, uh, you know, idea going into the game. You know, just, just put the puck behind their D, play in their end, and um, you know, happy with you know how we played tonight. You've got to Melanson a little bit. It's pretty cool to see him get that goal tonight. Yeah, obviously, it's it's awesome for him to get that goal. Um, you know, you see, he's he's a hardworking guy. You know, he's uh, he's earned that. So. Um, you know, it's great for him. Great to see him score that one. And did you know he was there when you made that pass to him, or were you just kind of hoping he was there? No, I, I saw him there. Yeah, like I, when I got the rebound, I kind of saw him out of the corner of my eye coming in back door, so slid over to him there. When you guys are kind of putting in the work during training camp and preseason, trying to prove yourself, what's it take to be able to be versatile no matter who you're paired with, who you're playing with, and all these different kind of combinations and situations? For sure, yeah. I think, you know, just communication is key. Really, uh, you know, kind of talking with your line mates and seeing what their tendencies are and seeing what they like, um, you know, all over the ice. So, um, obviously, you know, playing with different line mates, you know, in practice and in games and scrimmages and all that. Um, a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of, you know, an adjustment, but, um, you know, everyone's a smart player. Everyone's really talented, so um, it's a pretty easy adjustment. Among the many things I'm sure you've been working on in training camp, um, how goes, is this a good time to put, uh, think about face-off work among, against some bigger experienced guys? For sure, yeah, I think that's definitely something I, uh, I gotta clean up, gotta work on, definitely look at some video and, and clips on that, but um, obviously going against you know, guys like JT Miller and uh, you know, really strong, really experienced veteran centermen like that, it's always gonna you know, make you better, always gonna challenge me, so uh, definitely something I think look to improve on, but um, always you know, looking to get better at that. How about so. your, among your own teammates? Who's, who's good to, to work on it with? Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys are good, like Wenberg's great, great face-off guy. Uh, Belly, Belmer, he's, he's solid. You know, Gordo as well, Matty as well. I mean, a lot, a lot of really talented centermen on our team. So uh, it's always nice kind of picking their brains, seeing what they think, and um, you know, going against some practice, getting reps there. You seemed a lot more comfortable this year. Um, how long has this year compared to last year in terms of being comfortable with the team and the speed of the game? For sure, yeah, I definitely feel more comfortable. Obviously, uh, you know, with my second go around with the training camp and you know having a few few games under my belt and you know the playoff run with Coachella as well, um, you know definitely feel you know more comfortable out there. Really feel like um, you know I'm seeing the game a little better and uh, able to make plays a little better and uh, just feel a little more confident out there. So um, yeah, really happy with with how it progressed and um, how everything's gone so far. Good, Thank you. Thank you.